Well, here's the thing. I am a bit bored. I don't know what to do. I've got a bit of time on my hands at the moment. Due to this, I'll explain that in a second. Um, so December last year. Well, go back a bit further than that. Um, March last year, maybe February last year. I hang about with a few people who have off-road motorbikes and they convinced me that I should have an off-road motorbike too, which I thought was a great idea. I definitely should have an off-road motorbike. I'm made to have an off-road motorbike. Um, it's a done thing in the South Island in New Zealand. Only thing is, because I'm a bit of a chubber, they also convinced me to get a 450cc motorbike as my first motorbike. So I bought a KTM EXC 450, never having ridden a motorbike before in my life. And it's very, very fast. It, it picks up so, so quickly. Um, so come December, we are riding around in a forest just outside Highlands Motorsport Park. And I was going round the track, quite the thing. Um, it was a bank track. I realised I was taking one of the corners too quickly, so I thought, oh, I'll just head out the track. I will land it back in. I'll turn straight back into the track and jobs are good. However, when I jumped out the track, all my weight was going backwards and I did a thing which is called whiskey throttling. I just opened the engine up and I went from not to too fast in the blink of a second. And the last thing I remember is I was definitely aiming towards two trees and I tried to pick the gap in the middle of it and managed to hit both of them. So I had a, a bit of an accident then. I thought it was bad. I was very lucky, never killed myself, but I thought it was bad at the time, but I, I didn't think it was as bad as it probably was. And I went to the doctors that day, it was a Sunday, got some medication and went to work the very next day, which is, which is just brilliant planning, you know, go to the next day. So over the course of the next few months, I have several MRIs, several ultrasounds, several x-rays, just because I keep going back and the pain was all over at first, so they're like, where are you so? I'm like, everywhere, everywhere. So eventually what it turned out is I had a, a ruptured left PCL ligament in my knee. I had a torn hamstring in my left leg. I had uh, problems with both adductors and my my uh, groin. Split my pelvis cartilage. Got two tears in the cartilage in my right hip. And a tear in my right shoulder cartilage. And also rotator cuff. Ruptures, the one over the top, whatever it's called, sub sub anatinesis, something like that, whatever whatever they call it, it was totally ruptured. So last Monday, I got a surgery on this shoulder, and I am now in this sling for the next six weeks, um, and signed off work till the 29th of November. Today is the 13th of September, so I've got over two months off work. <clears throat> with no idea, can't play golf, can't do anything like that because I've got no movement in this right hand. So I thought, I bought this microphone a few weeks ago, not really used it much, used it for the kids for one of their homeschooling projects when they were off. But it's a cracker, I really like it. Um, but today this turned up from, um, what do you call them? Rubber Monkey, that's them. This microphone stud, it was cheap as chips, but it does the job. Especially if I'm just gonna be sat down at it for the next wee while. But the microphone itself is a Rode NT1A. Could not be happier, it came in this pack with the, with this microphone mount and the cable and a nice wee carry bag here. Beautiful. And it's plugging into my Tascam US 2x2 that I bought a while ago when uh, just before the first lockdown, or got it during the first lockdown, 
because um, the last thing I did before we went into the first lockdown in 2020 was go and see Tool at Auckland and came back thinking, yeah, I'm just going to play all their tunes again, the guitar. I hadn't had the guitar out since we moved to New Zealand. I'd been in stories for five years, so I got the guitar out and the massive amp. Didn't want to burden the fam with having this massive amp all the time, so I got this Taz, Tascam US 2x2. I'd two. never used a DAW or anything before. Realised that GarageBand coming free with the computer was phenomenal. So I started... Um, using that all the time and could not be happier. So basically I'm just making this video because this is a start of a very long period that I'm going to be off for and I just need to find myself something to do. Can't play the guitar, unfortunately. Um, so I'm going to try and get back into a bit of singing and just mess about and garage band and stuff like that and just try and keep myself keep myself mentally stimulated. So if anyone out there has any ideas of anything that I should get up to, and what I should do, keep me informed, keep, just keep track of the recovery, that kind of thing, just a little daily video I'm going to try and do and try and put it up online and just, uh, just entertain myself. If anybody bothers watching it, that's fine. Probably won't. Why would you want to watch somebody just talking rubbish every day? But hey ho, what's the point in having all this gear and not using it? So, tally ho. As Michael Cassidy would say, chair, chair. <laughs>